before we get started, let's check out the links in my description. We all want nice things. We want the car, we want a house, we want a high limit credit card. But if you don't have at least a 680 credit score, you're not even in the game. So click this link here to know where you stand and get your free credit scores from all three bureaus. That will be Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And also get your reports. If you would like to be free and become financially independent through entrepreneurship, click this link here to be free. If you'd like to get cash back, which is a discount during shopping, please click this link here to see my favorite cash back sites. And if you enjoy the music you hear in the background, please click the link here and subscribe to It's OAC. Hello everyone, welcome back to Community Wealth. Today we're going to discuss what's going on with the IRS and this tax season. But before we get into that, if you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports with all three bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, click the credit monitoring link in the description below. If you would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your time using your vehicle, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. Now if you don't have a car or you don't want to use your own, Click the Wealth Higher Car link in the description below, and that way you can use the Higher Car with the Wealth Dasher and still make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your time. Want to know how I got five properties of $5,500? Click the Be Free link in the description below, then click Sign Up. If you'd like to get cash back while shopping online, click the Cash Back links in the description below. And here's the new MasterCard. It's the Aspiration Zero MasterCard. They're giving $300 back on $3,000 spend in the first 90 days. You can apply for this card by clicking the aspiration link in the description below. Now let's get into this article. It says, IRS in crisis, file as quickly as possible, says tax specialist. The tax filing season starts January 24th, that's tomorrow. And experts say the IRS is in crisis as they face staffing shortages and a backlog of 6 million unprocessed tax returns from 2020. Dang, 2020? It's 2022. Okay. Unfortunately, this has been a slow moving train wreck for decades now, said Brandon Arnold from the National Taxpayers Union to the National Desk. Right now, you have 42% of printers not functioning. You have software technology at the IRS that is rooted back in the 1960s. On top of a backlog of millions of unprocessed individual returns, the Internal Revenue Service had 2.3 million unprocessed amended returns and 2 million unprocessed employers quarterly returns, according to a report by the National Taxpayer Advocate. Typically, there are only a million tax returns behind, so you want to get in and file as quickly as possible, said tax specialist Carissa Brand. The Biden administration has proposed spending billions of dollars to fix the IRS and help the agency close the tax gap. The Treasury Department says $600 billion in unpaid taxes are left on the table each year, $160 billion of which are from the top 1%. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Rewind this. So you mean to tell me all this stuff they talk about with these taxes? They had six hundred billion in unpaid taxes every year. That's a lot of money. Six hundred billion. Do you get what I'm saying? Six hundred billion in unpaid taxes are left on the table each year. And 160 billion of which are from the top one percent. So the top one percent are not paying only 160 billion, but everybody else is not paying 600 billion. Hmm. That's a lot of money. Now again, the IRS hold a lot of taxes now. They they get a lot of taxes, but you trying to tell me 600 billion is unpaid? I see why they out here doing their thing. They need to get that money, you know? I 
see why people get audited. Hey, you know, you owe us some money, partner. I get it now. I get it. Six hundred. That's a lot of money, man. That's more than some countries' gross domestic product. That's more than some countries' GDP. That's more than a whole. That's more than a whole country. And we saying that six hundred billion is unpaid. Man, that's a lot. I think what I focus is on here is ensuring that any American pays the taxes that they are owed. And if they're paying the taxes that they're owed, then they have little to worry about, said White House Press Secretary Jan Psaki. But experts say go after unpaid taxes later and help working class American families file now. That means making sure we have enough people in the call centers. It means modernizing their software and IT. It doesn't mean going after taxpayers for enforcement issues right now, said Arnold. Okay, I get that, I get that. But I'm still tripping on the fact that you said you get $600 billion in unpaid taxes every year. That's a lot of money. Man. Pay your taxes, people. Pay your taxes. I know rich people say they don't pay taxes. I get that. But, I mean, that's how we get things done out here, you know. Now, we're such a rut. I mean, they're looking for that money to get back. Because they borrowed the money from us as the taxpayer. So they say. They say they borrowed it from us. That's what they tell us. So if that's what they tell us, or that's what they're doing, let's pay these taxes. Let's, let's get the money back to us. Because everything is, like, going up and up and up and up. I mean, we're talking about inflation. is crazy right now. You see these gas prices. You see the food. They're talking about they don't even have food on shelves right now. I mean, you know. I mean, they listen. I'm not going to get into that without my theory on the whole food thing. But I do get tired of going to the store, you know what I mean, and looking around and I can't get a bottle of juice. There's no juice there. You got to go early in the morning to get you a box of crackers. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that this have anything to do with it because they talk about this whole pandemic and all that other good stuff. But at the same time, inflation is crazy. Get them their money. They gave us this money. Give it back. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's our money anyway, right? So it's kind of like you're going around in circles with it. But regardless, pay the taxes so they can stop this nonsense. They gave us all this money, borrowing it from us, I guess that's what they're saying. So we got to put it back in the pot. But anyway, that's what's going on with the IRS. They're in crisis. They get a shortage. They're, 600, they're billions and billions of dollars behind. They don't have printers working. They got an old system. You know, they're trying to hire more people. Now they want you to do selfies to log into the website now, the IRS.gov. They want you to do selfies now. I mean, it's, it's crazy. But anyway, hope this information is of value to you. Now you see what's going on. Get your taxes done early. Thanks for watching. If you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports from all three bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, click the credit monitoring link in the description below. You would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week utilizing your vehicle on your own time. Click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. If you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your own vehicle, then click the Wealth Hire Car link in the description below. And that way you can hire a car and use that vehicle to then Wealth Dash and make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your own time. If you want to know how I got five properties for $5,500, click the Be Free link in the description below. And if you'd like to get cash back while shopping online, click the Cash Back link in the description below. Like, share the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to It's a Wasey, and until the next video, Let's get this money.